Fellas, we have uh, Wendell Moore Jr. in the car. How do I get out of this maze? All right, you go this way. This All way. Right. All right. Wendell Moore Jr. Cox Mill, six nine. How tall are you, for real? About six six. Six six. <laughs> Going to Duke and trying to win a, a third straight North Carolina three A state championship. First question I got for you. I know you since you would knee high to a tadpole. We got to tell everybody. That. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we always thought growing up that you were going to be like 6'9 or 6'10 because both of your parents are so tall. Did you think that you were going to be really tall growing up? Tall, I mean, you're tall, but did you think you're going to be taller growing up? Uh, I mean, I didn't think I was going to be that tall. I, I mean, because honestly, I didn't want to be like 6'9, like 6'10 six, six, type. Um, I mean, but I just want to get to around like that 6'8 height. What you are now? Yeah, I'm almost there. Uh, I mean, so hopefully I get finished up like these last two or three inches. So you're going to be 6'8"? Yeah, I want to be about 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, <laughs> that's going to make you definitely like a small forward. That's going to be like a LeBron type of player. Yeah. What are you? Because everybody says you're the Swiss Army Knife. I mean, how do you view yourself position-wise? I know, I know it's position as basketball. Yeah. How do you view yourself you know, position-wise as a basketball player? Um, I mean, the next over, just because of my size, I think I'm like a, I think I'm a, a, a point guard, two guard. Like a combo type thing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, only because of where I can score and, and also how, how other ways I can like, get my teammates involved. Cause I, I see you do a little whatever. It seems like you do whatever's needed. Yeah. You know, whatever, whenever we need that day, you kind of do. Now, having known you for a long time, I know how much you love Duke growing up. Mm -hmm. Can you tell just between me and you, there's nobody else in the car? Was it always going to be Duke if they offered? Um. I mean, if you would ask me at a young age, then yeah, I would say yes. But uh, I mean, but as I went through the recruiting process, I kind of saw how, how other schools were going to use me. Yeah. And uh, and honestly, I kind of like some of the other schools. Mm -hmm. and, and so it, it kind of came down to uh, like being like a, kind of like a tough decision. Yeah. What what put the over the top for you? Um, I probably had to say just their history. Like how many guys they put in the league. Mm -hmm. um, uh, like this style of play matches so how I look. Right. Uh, you can go left, left. Uh, yeah. yeah, like this style of play matches the league. Um, and, and, and honestly, I mean, I didn't see what I, I didn't see why I wouldn't play for a better coach than Coach K. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, ultimately, it just came to, it just came down like these things are like bigger than basketball as well. I did an interview with Leaky Leaky Blacks at Carolina, your boy, mm -hmm. last last summer, I think it was. And I asked him, I said, how much did your life change after you stopped being Leaky Black and you became UNC recruit Leaky Black? Mm -hmm. How much did your life change once you became Duke signee Wendell Moore? Yeah, um, I, I mean, it changed a lot. And yeah. only for the better, though. I, I, I mean, people always, always constantly congratulating me, mm -hmm. uh, constantly wanting to take pictures uh, and, and things like that. But also, I'm, uh, also, I'm more of a role model for the kids type thing. Yeah. I mean, because once. Once people kind of find out I was going to do, I mean, they already knew who I was just because of like a basketball platform. Yeah. I mean, but once people find out I was going to do, it kind of like um, it, it kind of gave me like a bigger status in in like the community type of thing. So like, if we went to Concord Mills Mall right now, uh -huh. how often would we get stopped? Like we went to the food court trying to get some, you know, firehouse. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, we get stopped. We get stopped a good bit. Uh, actually, yeah, I was in the mall yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and I got stopped a couple times. So. But the people, the people just want to take pictures, they just want to talk to you, they just yeah. want to touch you. Uh, yeah, I mean, most times people are taking pictures, and, and if they don't want to take pictures, I can just hear him say, I can hear him say, I can hear him say something like, oh, that's Wendell Moore, mm -hmm. or he's going to do. Or, um, I, I mean, I just do things like that. Does that make you just a little bit paranoid that all these people talking about you and you can hear them, you know, you walk in with your boys, <laughs> and you know they're talking about you? Does that make you just a little bit paranoid? I mean, sometimes I find it a little weird. Um, I mean, but I guess it all comes with it. I like this price, so. It's part of the territory, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If it doesn't get it, your, your, your circle is going to only grow once you start playing on national television. Yeah, exactly. and, and look at Zion. Uh -huh. That's uh, it's kind of crazy. Is there, is there, you know, we hear about the Duke Brotherhood. Now, I know you're not kind of fully in it, but is there is there any truth to there's a real brotherhood to, to Duke? 
and what is it if so? Oh yeah, I believe so. I mean, only because of, 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 of like how often the guys come back around. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you go to KK, you'll see you'll see more than 20 pros. Okay. Uh, you see more than like 20 pros there, and not just guys that are in the league now, but in the, I mean, with guys that were in the league like, like formerly, like guys like Grant Hill is always around. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've seen JJ Reddy a couple of times. Grayson Allen's always back. Uh, Jason Tatum, uh, guys like Gerald Henderson, and, and even if you just and, and even if you just look on the coaches tab, these guys who played for Coach K. So everything around is do. Uh, have you talked to a lot of the former players? Yeah, I mean, once I came in, I had guys. Uh, I, I had guys that went there constantly hit me up, uh, uh, like Grant Hill. And he texted me. Uh, Jason Tatum. How crazy is that be? Look at your phone. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I, that was crazy because now that I look back, I kind of modeled my game after him a little bit. Now. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I, so I've been kind of watching his highlight tapes and kind of, I just try to pick up on the little things that he did. You had alley oop in the last game, kind of reminded me <laughs> down in Murray Beach. Um, what, what did he say to you? And what, you know, but how did you, how did you kind of take it? I mean, really, he was just congratulating me because uh, he was there when I committed. Um, on my visit, uh, he happened just to be around uh, uh, when I was there. So he kind of kind of congratulated me when I was there. Right. And, and then once again, he said he's looking forward to me being there. And, uh, and, and just really, if I need anything, uh, he'll be there. What's K like? It is he different than what you expected? Um, yeah, he's kind of different than what I expected. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, because he only because he has more of like a humorous side to him. Mm. Uh, I mean, everything about him just in business all the time. Right. Know? Uh, he's a great family man. Um, but those U.S. Olympians love him, so yeah. <laughs> you can make those pros love you like that. Exactly. You say he's a great family man? Yeah. Did, did he surprise you? Tell me how to get back to the school. Did he, did he surprise you when, when you started you know, talking with him on the phone, talking to him in person, anything that you weren't expecting about it? Was there anything you weren't expecting about it? Um, I mean, I just wasn't expecting him to be like as cool as he was, like as laid back. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, because you hear most guys like the, uh, like for him, like the greatest coach of all time. Yeah. So I, I mean, like finally getting to be on the phone with him. I mean, just hearing him talk with it, it, it's like a little bit different. And what's he telling you that your role's gonna be at Duke once you get there? Um, I really just be more of like a leader. Um, I mean, he wanted me to. He, he wanted me to be the leader of this recruiting class. Mm -hmm. uh, so I kind of stepped out in front, got that done. Um, and, and so you've been actively going after this? Yeah. So, right. and so really, he just wants me to come in and be a leader, uh, kind of like I am now. And he just wants me to keep doing what I'm doing. Okay. Um, you and Leaky are boys. Mm -hmm. Have y'all talked about those two games that you're going to play against each other next year? Big smile. We talked about a little bit last year. Uh, I, I, I mean, he wanted me to go to UNC. Uh, I, I mean, he kind of thought I was going to do at the same time. Right. I mean, so it was just kind of little jokes about it. So. Who's going to win? Ultimately, I think we're going to come out on time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it'd be kind of cool though, if you guys end up having to guard each other. Yeah. You know, just the, the two best friends. I mean, I'm sure that'll be a big storyline. I just think it's neat, you know, two high school kids in the same program. That doesn't happen to have two players like that. Three A public school. You guys made a lot of history. Now, no team is in the modern era is ever going three straight 3A championships. There's a big target on your chest. But how realistic a goal is that for you guys? I mean, that goal is really right there in front of us. Um, I mean, all we have to do is keep progressing and working hard. And that's my thing, we'll get there. Now, does it get harder every year, though, when, when you win? Because, you know, everybody just wants to beat you guys so badly. It's not, you know, I think, it, in my opinion, it gets worse once you get away from it. Because teams around here, they kind of know you and understand you. Once you get away, they're like, this is our shot. Mm -hmm. You feel like that? Yeah, I mean, like at beach ball, like when we lost this guy, County, uh, I mean, everybody was kind of going crazy for him. It was kind of like they just won like a, like a national championship yeah. or something like that. Yeah. I mean, so for us, I think we're everybody's biggest game. Um, That's right. And when the team get a chance to play us, they kind of give everything they have. And not like a regular game that they would play. But how do you counteract that? Uh, just come back and play the same game that we always play. I mean, no game is bigger than another. Uh, every time we step out, we will come out and play as hard as we can and, and just win that game. How do you stay so cool, though, man? Because your game, especially late, is I'm going to the basket, you're going to foul me, I'm going to the line, and almost every close game, you're on the free throw line. 
seven, eight times in the last two minutes when all of those are crucial. How do you not get up there and get, you know, shake your knees and shake your hands and, yeah, um, and hit the side of the backboard? <laughs> I mean, because that's a lot of pressure, man. I mean, for me, I just felt like, I, like I've been here before. So, um, I, I mean, all my life I've kind of been used to winning. Mm -hmm. uh, ever since I kind of joined the Gators and the Twins, they kind of, uh, they kind of pushed me to that winning mentality. You got to play the mission. Yeah, they, they had. So, I mean, every time the game gets close, I kind of feel like I know what to do in that situation. And so, kind of, I just try to get the ball in my hand and just try to make, and just try to like finish the game. What legacy do you want to leave in North Carolina? Because I don't, I don't know that maybe since Jason Parker, you probably don't know who that is in West Charlotte. Um, I can remember players decorated you been in your career. I mean, what, what type of legacy do you want to leave? I mean, honestly, I just want to be the biggest legacy I can. I, I like in North Carolina, I want to leave here with people's hands. Uh, he's probably the best I've ever seen come out of North Carolina. Okay. So, um, All right, LeBron. TBE. Boy. I think he got a shot, man. Yeah. I mean, if you cut him down again, you win another MVP, you win another play, state player of the year. I mean, that's I mean, three times state player of the year. That's some kind of record. Mm -hmm. You got a shot to be two time All Observer player of the year. We only had a couple of those. That's, uh, that's heady stuff. Yeah. How you keep getting a big head, though? Um, I, I really have to, uh, really have to give that one to my parents. First one? The, the last one. The last there. one, okay. Yeah. I mean, my parents always told me I'd never get too big for you, so, so. Um, I'd be scared of big myself. <laughs> That's a big move. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got big hands. <laughs> but I, I, I think it's, I think it's cool, I mean, because I know you, and you, you're pretty level-headed kid. Some guys in your position, they don't maintain that level headedness. I just hope that as you go to do can the autograph sneakers get bigger and more yeah. <laughs> that you can maintain that and don't you know and I always understand that just coming out coming to you mostly out of love. But how you deal with the Duke haters though? Because I know that uh, your text messages, your Twitter, so there's gotta be some people in there that's going at you about going to, you know, a school that has a high degree of hate like you got. Yeah. And I mean that again was kinda of one of the biggest things I picked Duke because Duke is I mean, it can be the most loved. I mean, it also can be the most hated school in the country. I mean, that's how they are. That is true. So, um, I mean, he's dealing with that. I kind of just try to block that out. I, I mean, that really doesn't matter because you can't get away. I'll be driving in a <laughs> Yeah, because once I get that, I'm only worried about winning. So. Yeah, they will come after you. Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. Carolina, too. It's all, you know, it's, it's all the same. Yeah. What do you remember most about high school? Your high school career? Is there a game, a moment? Um, really I probably have to say, uh, I probably have to say not even from a basketball standpoint, but just getting to be around all my friends a lot. I guess it's some of the last years I'm going to have a chance to be around them. Because once I, once I kind of go off to college, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like I'm just always there for basketball reasons. I'm, I'm not really going to have a lot of chances to be home for holidays or for, oh, no, you're not. <laughs> yeah, like breaks and things like that. And so really I just try to enjoy the time I have now with all my friends and family and just try to make the most out of it. Ideally, are you one and done? I mean, I think I want to be. Um, I mean, whatever, uh, whatever happens when I get there happens. If I have to be two, three, or four years, and then I'm going to play. I'm just going to play as hard as I can for as long as I'm there. Mm -hmm. And I hope I can be out of there in a short period of time. But the goal is one and done. Yeah, that's the goal. Yeah, it seems like everybody's going to do these days. Behind, but, okay. Have you talked to the current new players? They tell you what life, what to expect, what life is like? Have you talked to Zion? Uh, when I go up there, I talk to them a lot. Um, I mean, just kind of ask them what they do on a daily basis, and, 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 and I mean, kind of like what they do, like, uh, just like to, just like to improve every day on their game. Um, and so, kind of taking tips from those three guys, uh, the three freshmen. Yeah, uh, and also Trey as well, because like from his leadership, they might, I think he does a great job yeah. uh, leading those guys. So. You think there'll be any pressure as you get there as a freshman? It's just on you now. It's uh, not like I'm <laughs> watching them anymore. Everybody's yeah. watching me. Uh, I think it's always going to come with pressure only because I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, I think I might have a great team around me next year. Um, and, and, and I mean, they'll be able to help me out in, in a lot of ways. Why? Why the number zero? Um, honestly, I just started wearing zero until I got to high school. <laughs> um, and I kind of that number just stuck with me ever since. No reason, no Westbrook or anything like that. Nah, nah. Most, is that the number you want to wear at Duke too? You want to change? 
Uh, yeah, I'm probably going with zero now. Uh, not only because Jason Taylor is kind of my favorite player now. He wore zero, <laughs> dude. Uh, he wore and he wore zero in the league, so I kind of I, I kind of chime out of my game after, after him a little bit too. Have you talked to him? Um, not ever since he not ever since he kind of told me congratulations. I've really talked to him a lot since then. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. We're about to go uh, take Caleb Carwell, your teammate, out, and he and Bryce Williams going to Charlotte. Um, Caleb, to me, seems like one of the most underrated players in the state. Mm -hmm. I mean, you play with him every day. You know, kind of. What are your thoughts on him as a player? I think he's a really good player in that Charlotte. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna bring them like a lot more winning to their, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to their program. I think Sanchez does a great job. Yeah. And getting a player like him, he's getting like, uh, he's getting an all-around player as well. Uh, he's getting a great score. Uh, he can defend when needed, and uh, he, he, he can run a little point guard. So he's getting a player that can do a lot, uh, the same things I can. And I think he's gonna bring on like a high level of, of, of character also to that program. It's crazy to think that you had all this talent on the high school with you. You had yeah. Caleb and you had Leakey and you know, some other kids you have at a, at a public high school. That just doesn't happen. It's like you've been real fortunate, but you've also led them to some really, really high heights. Right. So one, one, you got one more run in you? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> the, la the last run, go back in. You ready to guarantee a state championship? Just me and you in the cars, nobody else. Yeah. You guaranteeing it? Yeah, I guarantee it. Oh, boy. <laughs> You built some boy between the Southwest <laughs> Gifford. You hear that, Twins? He's coming for you. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is Wendell Moore. Pull him back in the parking lot, man. I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. Big old hands, man. <laughs>